Hello and welcome back to Better Minecraft Mine Colonies. My name is Shin, and a big thank you to all of my Patreons and my YouTube members. So in the background behind me you see the hospital level 2 and it's about time. Last episode we managed to cure basically half of our colony had something wrong with them. Whether it was measles, influenza, One Direction fans, basically any affliction that you had was cured here in the hospital. Fantastic. And I was hoping that the university would be built by now. I left Bilbo to build the house where the new researcher is going to live and I left Alyssa to work on the university. Also, check this out. So if a guard falls asleep on his patrol route and another guard stumbles upon them, that guard then smacks the other guard and wakes him up. That's amazing. But yeah, let's jump in and see what's Alyssa's problem. Now I think it's more of the same. Basically Alyssa's builder's hut is kind of bad. It's a badly designed builder's hut and she gets stuck in this weird loop of going into her basement, coming out, going to her rack, coming out, going into her basement. Squeaky the Mighty. Hello. So it's just all around a bad time. Now speak of the devil, Elizabeth Fett is asleep on her patrol. So maybe another guard is going to come along and smack her. Not that I endorse that kind of thing here on the colony, it's just sometimes when a guard falls asleep, they need a bit of a slap. So yeah, like I said, Alyssa is nowhere to be seen. She's a real useless waste of space, but that's okay because Bilbo is hard at work, even though his hut is only level two. What a cosmic tool. So another thing we left in the background was Dr. Potter, our miner. We left him to dig out a mine while we looked after the research in the hospital. So let's take a look. Oof, now this ladder is a buggy ladder. And also, as you can see, Anna Hamilton has fallen asleep down here. The doctor was supposed to be digging out a mine on this level, but it looks like he hasn't made any progress at all, which is kind of confusing. Let's go and see what he's doing. Oh no, here we go. He needs some slabs because basically, as the miner digs his mines, he needs some support structures to keep it up. Alyssa, wake up, do your job. Anyway, we're going to leave her to it because eventually she will build the university. No, I said Alyssa, not Alexa. Oh, oh God. <laughs> anyway. While we've been waiting for her, the research did complete. <laughs> oh, no, we've got another problem. The research block is locked behind these fences because she's halfway through a build. Well, maybe we can be cheeky and reach through the fence to get to that. Oh man, this is, this is very frustrating because we did actually complete another bit of research. We unlocked the smeltery, but none of that matters if we can't get to the block where we can accept new research. So we really are stuck waiting for Alyssa to finish this build. Anyway, that doesn't matter because we do have some other buildings to build. We've got the Fisher's Hut and the Medium Quarry. So where are we going to build these bad boys? Well, the Fisherman's Hut is kind of locked to a position near the water. So I think we're probably going to go and put it over here near the boat. Looks good to me. Near the mine, we can build a little path that comes around to the side. And there's not much else that will fit here apart from a Fisherman's Hut. So this does look kind of perfect. get into position, get a vantage point to see what's going on. And here we go. So we're going for a medieval oak. There is a medieval oak alternative, so we'll look at both of them in equal measure. We're going to maneuver this so it's facing the right way. Now it looks like it needs a lot of water, a little bit more than we actually have here, but this is a pretty okay looking fisherman's hut space. Let's level this up to five, see what it looks like. Very impressive. Oh, no, wait, I had no idea, but a Fisherman's Hut level 5 even comes with its own boat. However, that looks like a block of Aquamarine, which I don't think we have any of. Aquamarine, I mean Prismarine, that's the one. So what does the alternative look like? So we'll maneuver the alternative into position. Flipperooski ooski. And yeah, the alternative is a bit more discreet, at least at level one. And as you go level two, level three, level four, oh, looking tasty. It uses red brick as well. 
instead of shingles. Oh, and then it uses, I guess, this is nether brick. Is it nether brick? Maybe. And sandstone. Oh, you know what? The more I see the alternative buildings, the less I like them. So I think what we're going to do is go with traditional medieval oak. Yeah, you know what? I think this is a great position. It's not interfering with this guard tower, is it? No, it's not. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to pull the trigger. And we're going to, of course, get Bilbo to work on this because Alyssa is the worst. Boom. Fisherman level one. Get to work. Now, while he's doing that, let's pick up space for our quarry. Now, this is a medium quarry. There is a small quarry and a medium quarry. I don't think there is a large one. So where are we going to plonk this bad boy? Well, first up, let's see how big it actually is in this nice big flat space. Medium quarry. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, this, <laughs> there's nothing medium about this quarry. This is a venti quarry. Look at the size of this mother trucker. And this is level one. Wait, there is no level two. There is no level two? Ah, oh, weird. Still, it looks very freaking cool, doesn't it? I'm not sure I like the idea of the quarry being so close to the university. That doesn't make much sense. Well, what about over here, the other side of things? We've got lots of space on the colony out this way. Yeah, why not? Now we want to keep it far enough away from interfering with the forester's trees, so I think round about here is a good spot. Also, it can't overlap this guard post. Yeah, no overlapping. Oh man, this could actually be a really sweet spot. Let's pull the trigger. Now, what are the build requirements for this? It's level one, so Bilbo should be okay to build it. Build options, okay. Cobblestone walls, lanterns. You know what? None of this actually looks that tough. Yeah, no, this is all easy cheese. The stone bricks could be tricky. Well, not really. The grindstone, they, they're not even tricky either. This is, a, this is amazing, this is great. Let's set Bilbo on the case here and put build building. And once he's done with the fisherman's hut, he'll come over here and do this. So how is he going on the fisherman's hut? He's got 43% of the things he needs. Oh, he needs sand. Coarse dirt and a barrel. Of course, he needs to clear out the space first. Let's go and check, see how that's coming along. Yeah, it's coming along okay. I mean, this is a bit of a sheer cliff, but we can flatten this out and make it neat and nice. Isn't that right, Mrs. Diggory? Now, another thing to be mindful of is we need to be looking for our next researcher. They have to have high mana and high intelligence, but also be an affordable price. So hopefully, sunflowers, hay bales, or books as the price. So everything is ticking along pretty well. Alyssa is still working, but it's still very, very slow, isn't it? Oh man, I really do regret building this builder's hut now. Maybe it's because it's alternative or not alternative, but this death loop is the worst. Getting stuck here, I don't know how to fix this. I really don't. I think one thing that may help is doing research that increases her inventory space, because that could be what the problem is at the moment. So the farm is working amazingly. We've got loads of carrots, loads of potatoes, and loads of hay bales. Fantastic. All the guards are on patrol. Everything feels pretty safe and secure. And Alyssa is kind of very, very, very slowly working on what we want to do. So let's get everything Bilbo needs for his fisherman's hut. This is all very simple. I think the only things we really don't have for him are the sand, which we wouldn't put in the warehouse because we haven't used that before. And it looks like coarse dirt and barrels we could need as well. We've got some barrels here, but these are weird barrels from the charm mod. So they're kind of unusable. That was a bit of a mistake by us. Let's make some normal barrels. There we go. Regular Minecraft barrels. 
Oh, we've done it again. These oak barrels from Charm are a real pain in the butt. Regular Minecraft barrels, please. Whoa. Oh no, 54! Oh, that's terrible. What a waste of oak. But luckily, oak is renewable, right? Right? Oh, oh man. So, just the logs and the fences now. And hot diggity dam looks like all green. Let's go and hook up Bilbo and watch the fisherman's huts get built. Wait, hang on a sec. Why am I taking the long way? I have a shortcut now. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, I've got to go to the builder's hut. You don't deliver these directly to the builder. You go straight to the hut. Straight to the jabber. There we go. Perfect. 100% supplied. 0% used. Now let's go and help him dig. Oh no, it looks like Bilbo has a fever. Disco fever, that's right, spin, baby. Why is he, <laughs> what is wrong with him? Can we push him into the right position? <laughs> I think he's broken. We broke him, we broke the builder. Move, get back to work, what are you doing? Oh my god, what is, <laughs> he is so stuck. I don't know how to fix this. You know what? Actually, I think I kind of do. I think we have to recall him to the Builder's Hut. Juicy Butt Sniffer. Oh, what a name. If you didn't cost eight cakes, I would hire you in a heartbeat, especially with those stats. Look at that. Fantastic. Come on, Jamie, wake up. Oh my god, that worked. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Anyway, Bilbo is hard at work, and he's got the materials, so once he's finished, everything will be fine. So what are we going to do now? I guess, stage two? Let's build the buildings that we've just researched. So we've researched hot, which gets us a smeltery, and we've researched... What else have we researched? And we researched a sawmill. So I think we can build both of those too. So here we go, and this requires just planks, wooden axes... And that's it. Super easy. Boom, the sawmill. And now the smeltery as well is the other thing that we've unlocked. Oh, whoa, look at this. So in mine colonies, there's a smeltery, which is what we've got, and a stone smeltery. So the smeltery, and oh, and this only needs an iron ingot. And this is perfect. The smeltery is gonna be where we're gonna smelt the ores that Dr. Potter finds in his mine. Now I know exactly where we want to build these bad boys. I've had this in my head for a long time. Basically, in the shadow of the mountain over here, I want to have all of our production buildings, starting with the sawmill, the smeltery, the blacksmith, and if there's a stonemason, that guy as well. So let's take a look at what both of these buildings look like. So if I right click here and we get the miner, no, that's not what we want. The sawmill, here we go. The most important production building probably. Not for resources, but for actually turning them into planks and things. So let's see what we can do with this. Now, it looks pretty big. Ooh, now we're gonna need a lot of room for this. Also, it looks like it needs some water, but the alternative version of this doesn't need any water. So that could be something we go for. And if you take the building all the way up to level five, there's still no water for the alternative, but the normal one, oh yeah, look, you can see what it does with the water. It makes this massive water wheel. And honestly, this is really, really, really cool. I definitely want to preserve that. So what I'm thinking is we build the sawmill by some water. Whereabouts is there water that we can use? Hmm, not entirely sure, to be honest. Now the colony is quite big. This is the center of the town hall here. So I mean, we could put it over here on the coast. That is an option. So let's move on instead and look at the smeltery. Wait, decoration, sawmill, miner. Here we go, the smeltery. Now, I'm very interested and keen to see what this building looks like. Not acacia. We're going to go for, wait, what kind of building styles are there? So there's medieval oak, but there isn't an alternative for this. Now again, oh, it's not a small building, is it? It's quite chunky. 
but if this is the front, there's definitely enough room for us to plonk it here behind the warehouse. So let's just try and maneuver it into position. Check the back wall so it doesn't clip into the mountain. Bring it down a bit. And this could be the one. Yeah, looks good so far. So let's see what it looks like at level five. Whoa, that's a big boy. But again, things like the paths we have here are not set in stone. In fact, you could say they're, uh, they're set in dirt. <laughs> Ooh. So what we're gonna do is, I reckon we're gonna pull the trigger on this and maybe move this hill, maybe bring it down a bit so that we can get to the front door once it's level five. So boom, there we go, tick the box. And we're gonna find somewhere on the coast for the sawmill. Oh, look at this smeltable ore. Oh, right, so this is all of the ore in the mod pack. Very cool. Oh, this makes sense. And also the building needs fuel, just like the restaurant. And I hope it can use, oh yeah, it can use anything with a burn time again. So it looks like oak planks could be the one here as well. So build options, we're gonna give this again to Bilbo because Alyssa is very unreliable. So boom, build building. And when Bilbo's ready, he'll get started on this. So let's go and check on the other things in our colony. Oh man, it's really good to see the guards up and about patrolling actively. Oh man, yeah, this is getting this is getting close to being built. What does the scroll say? Bilbo is working on the fisherman still. And Alyssa Jack is working on the uni. 63% done now. Let's go and watch this guy finish up the fisherman's hut. Oh no, he's doing it again! <laughs> Bilbo, no! What's the what's the trouble? What is he doing? I think he's stuck. I think he's trying to get out of the water, but he can't because of this grass block. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and help him out here. No, it looks like it wasn't that grass block. Well, maybe we can give him a push. Let's give him a bit of a push. There you go, chief. Did that help? No, really didn't. Oh, man. Oh, so it looks like, oh my god, this guy is wigging out completely. Where is he trying to go? Where does he want to be? What is he trying to do? He's got wood in his hand. Is he trying to put down something down here? Oak logs. You know what? Maybe we can help him out by putting down some oak logs where we think they're supposed to be. Yeah, so these oak logs go down really deep. And I think that means that the fisherman's hut was originally designed to be, uh, well, I think 100% built on water. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Okay, so far so good. We put down some of these extra oak logs. Now let's recall him back to his builder's hut and hopefully he'll come back all good as new. Okay, so Bilbo's back, baby. And what is he doing now? He's gonna go straight out into the water and get stuck again, I'm sure. Aha, now he's doing it. Okay, yeah, right. So let's watch him in action. Now, originally I wanted to wait with the fisherman's hut because we didn't really need fish as a source of food. However, the university has caused us to step up our game plan a little bit because so much research is locked behind the very first basic buildings. And a fisherman's hut is the gateway to the sifter, which is a really good way of getting rare ores like iron, diamonds, etc. And now, like I said, we have the fisherman's hut, but we don't need fish which is why we're not going to employ a fisher. There are much more important jobs on the colony, like a smelter and a carpenter for the sawmill, and also a dude for the quarry. Fish will have to wait because we have plenty of food from the farm. So the fisherman's hut is complete, and it looks kind of basic. We're gonna get this to level three eventually, but uh, not not for a while yet. And we're also not going to be hiring a fisherman because we don't need any fish yet. We need the building, but we don't need the fish. So we're going to just leave this as it is and come back to it later. Now it looks like if we go to the resource scroll, Alyssa is 85% through the university build. Very, very, very close. Bilbo has started work on the quarry, but there's a whole bunch of trees and things for him to clear out. So that's what he's doing first. There he is, just chop, chop, chopping. So next on our list of things to do is to put down the sawmill. And we're gonna put this down by the river, by this natural body of water, 
because the building itself has a cool little selection of water and a water wheel. I know we said we put production buildings next to the hospital, but I do feel like I really want to use the water wheel and that first non-alternative build because it looks really cool. So let's put down the sawmill over here. Medieval oak, sounds good to me. Raise it up and spin it around so that the water wheel is on the left. Oh, there it is, perfect. Now, let's just get this water into position. Ooh, ice. There we go, lower it. And how does this look? It kind of clips into this mountain a little bit. How does it look on the other side? No real clipping on this side. Yeah, this looks okay. We're kind of going to want to get rid of this hill anyway, because look at where the university lies. Yeah, that's going to get in the way of that for a bit. Oh, now actually, hang on a sec. So one thing you guys said is that the university comes with an area next to it that is designed to put the library. And if this is the building at level 5, there should be an organic place next to it that looks like it's the perfect size and space and everything to put a library. But where could that be? I think it might actually be right here. I don't know though. No, probably not. I think we're safe with the sawmill over here. So what does it look like at level 5? Oh, what's this? <gasps> Oh no, Bilbo! Oh, I knew it was a mistake out there in the... Oh my god, he was a mean machine as well. What an all-star builder. We have lost an, a, a brave soul today. Uh, well, we'll put we'll tick the box on the sawmill. We're going to wait with building this because we have to go and get his materials. What the hell killed Bilbo out here in the forest? I bet it was a bear, you know? Was it a bear? Oh, it was a bear! Was it a bear? I think it was a bear. Rip. Does it, it doesn't say what he was killed by. I think it was a bear though. Yeah, I don't see any other creepers or anything around here. Oh, I think it was, oh, it was a bear for sure. Oh my God. Oof, well, I guess we have to go and find Bilbo's replacement now. But on the bright side also, that frees up an extra slot on the colony for us to hire a new dude. And it looks like we have another Patreon member here, Queen Decoy. 21 hay bales, stats are, oh, athletics is low, everything else is kind of okay though, and because it's a Patreon member, we're going to hire you. So, oh, King Heisenberg, your majesty. 31 hay bales, here you go. Welcome to the colony, and now let's get you set up as a builder. Here we go, manage workers, builder. Oh, so we have two choices here, queen decoy, or Vanessa Big Lips. Now, Queen has a higher adaptability, so that's what we're going to go for. She's a slightly higher level dude. So congratulations on your new job, Milady. Oh, we've also got Kapulka Parker, who is also a Patreon member. But we don't quite have the lapis to get her yet. So we're going to have to do something about that bear, aren't we? And I, bears are a bit too dangerous to get close to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bow. Luckily, we made 15 of these. Wow. Okay, there we go. Locked and loaded. Got a bow, got some arrows. Let's go and take out this bear so that our next builder hopefully won't get ripped to shreds. Oh man, it's like, what's that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where he gets mauled by a bear? That's right, Bear of Wall Street. Okay. Take aim. That's right, Mother Trucker. And is this the first time I've used a bow this entire series? Wow. Anyway, we're going to kill ourselves a bear. Oh, God, he's quick. Ooh. Not too bad. Now, are there any other bears around in these woods? Man. Oh, so you guys have said that I can tame an elephant with the acacia blossom. Maybe I could tame a bear because they're both from the mod called Alex's Mobs. That might, that might actually work. Man, bows are really useful, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know why, but I never really use them. Maybe it's time for that to change. Okay, well, how are you doing, Alyssa? What do you need? Can we help at all? Oh, that's Teresa. Oh, has Teresa been here the whole time? Oh, no way. She's trapped in the uni. Oh, my God. Not now. <laughs> we just lost our builder. And now we have to defend against raiders again. Raiders northeast of New Kingdom. Northeast 
up there, so up here on the cliff. Let's go. We've got our banner. This should be much easier now that everybody is nice and healthy. In fact, you might not even need to use the banner to rally the defenders. Let's see how this goes down. Where are they? Where are these dudes? Northeast. Northeast. Oh no, I see them. Oh my god, they come from the east. Not northeast, but totally east. Oh my god. They're already in the colony. They're going to kill all my dudes. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's going on? Where are they? Quick, guards, 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 rally. Nine guards answering the call. These guys are going to get destroyed. Oh my god, Bilbo is just going through these dudes. Ripperoni and pepperoni. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Look at this absolute army of demons. Where's Anna? Did Anna come? Oh, yeah, here she is. She didn't want to miss out on the action. Unfortunately, she did. Whew. Only one dude has armor, though. Leather as well. But, uh, yeah, we need to get these guys kitted out with some new digs. Well, it's okay, guys. We defended the colony. Good job. You can all go home. But it turns out, yeah, man, they, so they did not come from the northeast. They came from directly east. What a massive lie that was. So let's go to the inn and see what stats these guys have. We're looking for mana and intelligence. I'm not sure if village idiot Penny Pincher. <laughs> I mean, that name is amazing, so I want him already anyway. Oh, but Elizabeth looks like she wants him too. 31 nether quartz. We can definitely handle that. Well, maybe we get the village idiot then, because I love the idea that we have the village idiot and he's probably the most intelligent person on the colony. I think that's hilarious. 31. That'll do. Recruit him. Boom. Welcome to the colony, you village idiots. Oh, and Ned Jefferson immediately lands in his place as, I guess, the, the landlord of the Black Pig. Sure. Oh, no. We have another problem. So now the fisherman's hut has been completed, it looks like it presents a certain problem for the guards. We're just going to get this sword out of here. Oh, stone sword. Wow. She's really slumming it. So disaster has happened. While waiting for Alyssa to finish the university, Knight Daisy Heisenberg has drowned. She died at this location because of drown. Who knew? Oh no. So what that means is I guess whenever a guard comes on patrol here, they're going to arrive at this point and, and just drown. So what can we do to fix that? Well, I think what we're going to have to do is do a little bit of creative building. Not creative, creative building, but we're going to have to solve this ourselves. And I think, why not just build some planks out here for the time being? Ugh, oh man, well, a disaster. Well, Queenslayer is coming out here on a patrol now as well, so let's see if she gets stuck too. Yeah, it looks like Queenslayer walked this way, and no doubt Daisy did as well and got caught on the side and drowned. Boom. Just one, one little trip into the drink, and it's lights out for Daisy Heisenberg. Luckily enough, it wasn't a Patreon member. It was just one of those disposable members of the colony that we've wanted to get rid of for years, if we're being honest. Now, I put a cheeky poll out on my YouTube page asking you guys what you wanted to see for the next building next episode. The options were to turn my windmill in my house into a create windmill, build a library, build a school, or look towards building a barracks. And overwhelmingly, about 45% of you guys voted for a barracks, so I think that's what we're going to be going for next episode. But we're still very much on this episode, and oh, she's very close now. So look at the resource scroll. She's used 97% of the materials. She's just going around at the moment and doing a quick pass <sighs> to make sure all the blocks that were here but aren't supposed to be here, are being removed. And then I think she's going to put down the flowers and uh, the building will be complete. <laughs> oh my God. Finally, the fireworks go up and the building is complete. Let's get this done. Oh, it's taken so long to get this done. It's so glad to finally be a level two Harvard. Nice. So, manage workers, here we go. We are going to hire a new research assistant. Now, it's either Vanessa Big Lips, who I think we're probably going to make a knight, or village idiot Penny Pincher, who has a knowledge of 21. We're going to go for the village idiot for sure. 
Congratulations, welcome to the research team. So let's take a look at our research before we end the episode. Now, technology-wise, we're in the middle of biodegradable. That'll happen in the background. What else do we want to get done? Well, more importantly, what else can we get done? Because a lot of our buildings aren't level 3. We don't have the requirements for so many of these things. So what we're going to do is research down combat towards the barracks. It looks like tactic training unlocks the barracks, requires guard towers totaling at least three levels, which we definitely have. So let's do it. Boom, it's in the bag. So there we go, two bits of research on the go. That's amazing. Oh, boom. Well, thank you very much for watching, you guys. What an exhausting episode. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, so much went wrong. Now, if you did watch this far, make sure you put in the comment section, Rip Bilbo, pay your respects to that man because he did die for the team, and I will put a heart on your comments. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon members and YouTube members. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ding that bell, and I'll see you next time for some more better Minecraft Mine Connollys. Until then, take care. <laughs>